It's either gay or communist. That's all we do here, folks. Why not? Um, it's just bits. And if once we can just do gay and communist, the world's problems will then be solved. Then man. <laughs> <laughs> if just once. Did you hit... That's what's wrong. Yeah, no, we're recording. Record yet? No, if, if Stalin Race had been gay... Yet? He probably wouldn't have killed all those people. <laughs> yeah. He probably would have gotten bullied enough, just enough. <laughs> just the right enough bullying. Gay people until recently weren't allowed to commit horrific atrocities because they never let them anywhere near power. <laughs> but now, now we've yeah. got Justin Trudeau. Yeah, I'm sure he's gay. I was thinking I was trying to think of that mayor uh that wanted to be president, but he was he he's Rob not Ford? gay, he's just a- asexual. Uh he was like the Mayor in New York. God, the only gay dude who ran for president Milk? last. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't like to think about him. Mayor, <laughs> P- Mayor Pete. Mayor yeah. Pete. No, Booty he's Dash. already committed atrocities he's in the not private sector. Gay though. That's the problem I have. No, he's is not. It, he's he's not. asexual. <laughs> that he has is... used the sociopathic tendencies to. He was, I, I don't want to sell him short. Short. He was the first mayor in Indiana to be married to a man. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely was. Right. He Does loved he that love man. Love that man. No. no. <laughs> he loved that man as much as he loved the dogs he stomped to death every time he lost a primary. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's headcanon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think he did. I thought like there was a weird correlation between his dogs dying and him losing something. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's just he has so few human reactions to things. You got to figure it's coming out somewhere. And I'm guessing it's into a dog's skull. No, he's a sociopath. And one of the one of the byproducts of being a sociopath is you're asexual. So he doesn't understand. And no, it makes Nothing wrong with being asexual. But... Attach sociopath to it, and suddenly you're no longer asexual. You're whatever sexuality helps you. <laughs> Speaking of being asexual, I was for 20 minutes last night. Well, I was so high. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never fuck again. I was like, I actually don't think I ever want to have sex again. And then 20 minutes later, I was like, Oh yeah. yeah. You, are you, do you know that you do this every time? <laughs> every time you pack two bowls, you're like, I'm, I'm not binary, asexual, and polycentric. <laughs> and then the next morning, you're like, I'm just a little bit gay. Turns out that's what, that's mainly what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh. That's the problem. Anybody who's got like really complicated sexual background is that they're just high all the time. <laughs> it's like, nah, dude, just quit smoking weed. <coughs> no, I identify as a lizard. Just, just set down the bowl, buddy. <laughs> I don't think I got to lizard last night, although I was very certain about give lizards. It, give it that a was my. That was once again. I dipped into the well of lizard people are real for a comedy bit, and people laughed because they weren't aware of how how close true you I were. Really believe <laughs> yeah. That. yeah, how on the fence you are about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, Teflon was hosting the show, so obviously he went up, and then I was the Teflon first guy down. after him. Yeah. And he st- was like, I got a lot of conspiracy theories in my set. I was like, don't. <laughs> you can't do that before mine, or it sounds like I'm copying you. Uh, don't tee me up, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> don't tee up Alex Jones. He's already teed up. <laughs> I had to. This is, you know, kill your babies, as Jonathan tells you not to say. Uh, kill your darlings. I really wanted to do my Alex Jones kill your impression. Babies. Kill your babies. It's there. It's more fun. Yeah. Go Little Rockstar. Uh, Go. Have you seen that series of TikToks? And then they just drown a baby. <laughs> no, it's there's this one girl that basically it was a, it's the funniest TikTok on its own. She'd be like, "My baby would be three today if Walgreens was closed." <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes like go little rock star and like gives him a peace sign in a very hilarious that way that is so funny and then someone else like duetted it with like actually I think this is fucked up to say and then a bunch of people do at, duet that with like they let the first girl say her piece and then as soon as the second one starts talking they play banjo really loud <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking so, great those are fun that is a weird chain of TikToks that makes no sense <laughs> no that's how they all are that's how I always house. find the end of the chain too oh god <laughs> and then you dive backwards <laughs> yeah and I have to go deep backwards and you wonder anyway, why Walgreens you believe in conspiracy like, theories <laughs> Uh, I believe in conspiracy theories because uh, the truth is no fun and you have to believe something about why the world is like this. That's true. Conspiracy theories are what happen when you know you're being fucked, but you don't have, you are not able to articulate by who. I can articulate by who, but when I do, uh, it scares the hoes. (laughs) Do be scaring them hoes. I don't think the issue is not being, uh, I think it's society is so fucked up and we know exactly who. So we do know why what's happening and why it's happening but we are can't do anything yeah no we can't so, we're not no we could we could well there's revolution a thing we, there's exists. a thing we could do um 
But, but last as time we I advocated to that, not right do way. it, they have to, they have to be like, no, well, lizards. No, it's because yeah, <laughs> it's more complicated than that. It's funny when people are like, it's more complex than that. No, it's not. I mean, nine times out of ten, no, pretty straightforward. It, it's more complex than that, but that complexity doesn't change anything about the simple thing. Like it, it's like the ruling class is fucking you if you work. On things, you should control those things. It is more complicated than that, but every level of complexity doesn't make that not true. No, yeah, the issue is that it's more complicated than that. Not the solution yes. is that simple. Anyway, speaking of, I mean, all of that, I am not really interested in the war in Ukraine Why as not? much as everyone else is. You're not interested in World War Three Part One. <laughs> Episode one of they would World War Three would ba- work like a fucking dude, orange box game. band of bronies. <laughs> I'm back in <laughs> band of. It's essentially what this is because everybody who's gonna get drafted from America to help end World War Three, if we're not <laughs> one of the leading causes of it, uh, we already are. Uh, well, no, but one of the leading front line style causes, you know what I mean? Right. Um, is gonna be band of bronies because they're. TikTok people. <laughs> I'm not a Fluttershy, but I served in a company of Fluttershies. No, I just. What's I can't, their best on? <laughs> I can't get into it because I'm like, oh, uh, uh, young men dying for stupid imperialist bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this. It's like I live in America, so I had to get over. <laughs> I had to get over what we do to people. And now it's very hard for me, and you can see this is for everybody on Twitter, it's very hard to, like, twist and be like, and also what America's enemies are doing is horrific. (laughs) We're also used to being like, America's the fucking worst. You need to have sympathy for their enemies. But not Russia, actually, though. Yeah, there's... Well, that's why I think if you give it enough time, they're going to try and do a 180 on this one and be like, well, we're joining Russia. <laughs> Russia turns out good, guys. If we start seeing well, pro-Russian Well, I mean, last World War, we were their friends, and then we did a 180 on that, so. God, we're bad at country. God, we're a cunt of a country. I, the th- the, I don't know. Oh, I guess on. the headline here. That was a good here. one, you fuck. We're what? We're a cunt of a country. Oh, yeah. We're, <laughs> turn that thing into third world country. Bo Burnham, I'm gonna I'm having an off the rails day here, folks. I had a lot of substances. Same. You know you can get hung over from weed. Well, yeah, kinda. No, oh, no. You're yet. just still a teeny tiny bit high. You haven't done enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's when you burn away all the dopamine. <laughs> the same effect of how you can't have dreams anymore. If you yeah. smoke all the time, if you smoke a lot, you can't have any, like... Aspirations. A- exactly. <laughs> Aspirations is the next thing. <laughs> the other type of dreams. <laughs> it's a great way to sit down and watch HBO Max. You still got to finish Band of Brothers before I Band do. of Bronies comes out. Before, yeah, no, I got before the sequel comes Which out. Which I'm not letting go. Cause, I can't God, believe Winters is in so it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Captain He's a brony. Win- it's Captain Wintershine. <laughs> it's adorable. It is funny because all the neckbeards who uh, have uh, Punisher Blue Lives Matter uh, tattoos would be the first to sign up for war against Ukraine <laughs> or Russia. I saw a video or. of a. They uh, don't care which. <laughs> I did see a video of a guy from Texas fighting with the Russians. Not surprised. It was, I don't know. He's going to die. I hope. I also saw yeah, a video. He's gonna, somebody's going to give him a cigarette and then shoot him. Right. Fine. <laughs> Good. I, but that scene in Band of Brothers where there's like an American and the whole thing is like, oh, the cost of war. Yeah. Turns out a guy like you was on the other side. That's true. But that, that dude's is a, a dick. But yeah, it's like, my family was so racist, we emigrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that guy can die. Right. I, fr- frankly, that, that scene, if you guys know, that scene in Band of Brothers where Spears executes the prisoners and then private bullshit is like... Like, oh no, they killed the guy that was from Oregon. Oh, I liked. That guy was the only one that deserved to die. Yeah, the rest, the, the of, rest them, of them were... Which is some stupid kid from Bavaria who was like in the middle of trying to fuck the, like a really ugly Bavarian girl, but was the hottest it, it in the was village. the hottest in the town for right, sure. Right, and he was in the middle of trying to do that, and then some Nazis came in and were like, you have to help us keep killing Jews. And he was like, Vas? And they were like, you're already on the half track. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, no, and they were beat the shit out of him. And then he was like, okay. okay. And like, and like, for example, full circle here, uh, like... Vietnam? 
Uh, no, like Ukraine. <laughs> the, 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 the Russian gave a speech. Man, it I sucks think, to be Ukrainian most days of the week. Most of them. It's very bad. You don't want to. No, there was a, a speech that a Ukrainian guy gave at the UN, which was basically, let me read you the texts from a Russian soldier. And, I, and I'll tell you before the end of this, uh, moments after he sent his last text, he was shot by a Ukrainian. <laughs> uh, it says, "I'm no, I'm not in Crimea anymore. We're not doing exercises. And then his mom says, well, where are you? And then he's like, we're going to Kiev. We're bombing civilian shit and all that stuff. There's a real war. I don't really want to die in that. And then he did moments <laughs> after that. Yeah. War is. He- or, uh, war ac- is heck. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, there was a there was a quote I keep seeing around online. War isn't hell. Hell is hell. Everybody deserves. Everybody who deserves to go to hell goes to hell. And nobody who doesn't deserve doesn't. But war is full of people who don't, who don't deserve, deserve to, to be there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've also heard war is old rich men telling poor young ones to die. And war yes. is a racket. And all of these are true. Yes. So, um, dodge a trap. I get, unless, I don't know, if we're fighting on the side no, of no, Ukraine. No, dodge, no, 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 if no, we're fighting, sorry, no. Dodge, if America gets... If dodge I'm, the draft. Join a foreign legion and go to Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't fight for us. Yeah, we're Because you know what we're going to do? Rape and pillage. We're going to do bad stuff. In the name of good stuff. I've literally seen, there were so many journalists saying like, wow, it's crazy when it happens to white people basically what the fuck? They, they've said stuff like it's happening to a developed place with educated people and one of them forgot he was trying to be quiet and said it's happening to people with blonde hair and blue eyes yeah it's like but russia's doing to ukraine what we did to afghanistan and iraq and, and vietnam Af- all of africa and all of africa and grenada and the rest of south america <laughs> and it's been very trippy to see america on the right side of history not uh, give, of I give it a second no, give it a second give it a yeah. second i guarantee we're going to start seeing propaganda soon that's like, Russia, are they really that bad? <laughs> I mean, 20 minutes after we beat the Nazis, we were like, come work for us. <laughs> yeah. Which, to be fair, the U.S. But is But we awesome. kept that under our hats, at least. We didn't advertise We at least it. knew it was shameful. Yes. Go, better. Better. <laughs> better. <laughs> instead of being like, well, I know this is shameful, so instead of doing it in secret, I'm going to create pop- propaganda so, so that you think it's cool. everybody thinks it's the right thing to do thus blurring the lines of morality because a moral <laughs> because unfortunately morality is based on population so if a certain well, number yes. of people grow up at a certain with a certain set of morals eventually those just become morals so if somebody influences those morals to be bad <laughs> oh fuck. yeah but the really shitty morals never actually take effect in personal situations yeah that's fair like it, like the most racist person you've ever met has a black friend. They're like, no, but he's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's because mean. everybody knows there is some horrific other that's ruining society, and it's called the Anunnaki, and they built London and Paris <laughs> and the Mayan pyramids. Are those the lizard people? Yes, they okay. live on the planet Nibiru. No, it's <laughs> no, it's the ruling class. And then you know, there's propaganda that makes you think that that's actually Jews or black people or Muslims or whatever it no, is. No, or... it's Jeff. It's and Jeff. Jeff alone. It it's is Jeff funny. It's I mean, it's Jeff. also Putin. Yeah. Oh, well, even more so, I would argue, yes. Putin, because he has, he does, he might not be that wealthy, but he has power. <laughs> he also is extremely wealthy. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. But, you know, compared to Jeff Bezos or whatever the yeah. fuck, he's not as wealthy, but the power he holds is that of a dictator <laughs> on, in an America plus size country. How many people live in Russia? Uh, I think it's, it's close to America. Closer to the population of Canada than of America. How many people live? I mean, in Russia, Russia has a lot of territory, but most of it's just like rocks and the grave sites of indigenous people they killed. Whereas America put million. casinos on those grave sites. 144 million. And Ukraine is 44 million. That's not actually bad odds for Ukraine. Three to one odds? Especially because everyone in Ukraine solo. wants to defend Ukraine, and most of the people in the Russian so, army like, are like, not good. What? <laughs> Well, so far, Russia has only been like these two territories. We're That's what they said. Take. I said so far. <laughs> so, so far, all they've done is these two territories. Yeah, but then they invaded everywhere. No, I thought they only invaded No, they two. invaded the rest of the country. Fucking dicks. They <laughs> said they were going to those two. They're know. saying it's for denazification. Which is hilarious. <laughs> right, because first of all, there's no, there are Nazis in Ukraine, but there's also Nazis in Russia. Yeah, and it's America like, way, and when Amer- The thing that America does when it's like we're protecting women's rights by firebombing Afghanistan because the Taliban is racist 
exactly the same thing. Yeah, there, there are Nazis in Ukraine. It's a legitimate <laughs> problem. That's not why Russia's going in. Russia's not going to fix that. They're not even mad about that. I doubt they even address it. <laughs> I think at some not. point Putin, Putin's going to be like, uh, Putin's going to be asked the question, <laughs> so did you get the Nazis out of Ukraine? And he's going to be like, the what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I forgot. I told you that you were supposed to do that. It's fine. It's, I'm not even going to. I mean, really, dude, just drop it. Nobody, Everybody knows. <laughs> Or do you think the UN would then just be like, okay, co- at I least think, lie to us? Yes, no, I think there is a yeah. big stupid thing where you have to pretend, because if you if if they let that go, then that is a then then there's a domino effect to we're just pretending about borders. Uh, but we're just we pretending are. that badges mean anything, and it's not just the fact they have a gun. But we are. <laughs> no, and that's what I. We, it's all pretend. All of liberal societies, we're all pretending to be operating according to some values other than our material self-interest. Mm-hmm. And if anybody ever breaks that kayfabe, we all will. And unfortunately, uh, most people won't just be like, well, then we should still not kill each other. but Because be- we agree it would be bad to kill each other. And then someone will be like, no, I wasn't killing you because I was being paid not to. So I have to now. Man, it would be so much better of a world if we could just be like... Not when we see bullshit to just be like, oh yeah, that's bullshit, and then move on with our lives. No, but every you instead all have of to do aggressively it at the same time. analyzing said bullshit, getting that bullshit fed to you in nine different packages, and then having to suss out, oh no, it's all bullshit. How do we get through that? Critical race theory, great example of that shit, is that I fucking I never I I never like looked at it, never did anything about it, only worked based on what I heard, and I was like, oh, I kind of have like a. I didn't. I hadn't really had the opportunity to deform an opinion on it, but it 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 just the way it's shown to you is so negative. The I mean the, the reason I'm in favor of critical race theory is every time they ban it, if you follow it back to what they're actually banning, they're saying you are not yeah, allowed no. to say one group oppressed another group. Well, that's clearly <laughs> retarded. <laughs> so critical shit. race theory is probably has something to it. Well, somebody actually spent. Uh, somebody actually. I think it was Twitter or something. Yeah, I was like. No, the definition of critical race theory is just uh, currently America is doing the op- anti-critical race theory in that they're preaching pretty much they're ignoring the fact that racist shit happened. All the critical race theory is doing is saying, okay, we know that they're ignoring the fact racist. They're not teaching race shit. What if we were to what if talk we about taught that, that? The fact that it happened. <laughs> yeah. What if instead, let's talk about right. it. Well, that's the liberal disease if they're going to come up with some technocratic solution and be like, we have this new special way that we're going to do it. It's like, no, say it as, you should always just say it as, no, we're actually saying what's true, which is what critical race theory is. Also, yeah. critical race theory is a... We shouldn't even have that term. It's all just historical materialism, but God well, forbid we talk it's about the, that. It's the recognition of the fact that we have been admitting it, and then, okay, now let's fix that. And so also there's the, no class that's critical race theory. There's no, like, specific, okay, third no, period. You just have to going, recognize it hasn't yeah. been part of curriculum and now make it okay, part of curriculum. Okay, so now let's look at that and fix it. It's literally at the school board level. Basically, the shit that everybody figures out if they have any interest in actual yeah. freedom. Oh, my God. What did you learn about black history in school? Name and MLK thing. fixed it. Yeah, that's it. That's all. It's a white all, student the only, the that's thing all you do you to solve racism is when you're a kid, someone throws a rock at you because you tried to hang out with a white guy, and then you don't be violent, and then you grow up, and there's still no violence, but you give a good speech, and then racism <laughs> is over. Just gone. <laughs> and by the way, that was a way long time ago. There's no color footage of it, <laughs> except for all that color footage. Except for of all that it. color footage, and it's in living memory. And MLK would probably be alive if he hadn't been killed <laughs> by probably the CIA, <laughs> uh, FBI. I thought. I thought no, they, they killed Fred ass. Hampton. Yeah, no, twofer. <laughs> they were going for the. Three I don't kills know three. which one killed him. I just think they it's wanted radar. Likely the government did. They wanted radar, so they were trying to get three kills. So Fred Hampton, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> MLK, and I don't know JFK. I, uh, I was trying to use black leaders, but Rosa Parks died of actually staying alive. No, Rosa enough. Parks made it. Uh, yeah, no, good for her. <laughs> no, but oh, um, there's a. Have you ever seen that uh, image of a plane? Where the idea was they were trying to figure out where to armor planes. Mm. So when planes came back from battle, they would look at where they'd been shot, and they armored those places the heaviest. Yeah. And then those planes got shot down the equal amount, because it turned out, if you look at which planes come back, where they got shot is where it's fine for a plane to get shot. Yeah. So you can't look at that. (laughs) Well, do you know why all of the people who talk about, like, peaceful struggle against racism 
Do you know why they're the ones who are talking about racism now? Because they're Cause alive. Because they're not dead. Because <laughs> they didn't shoot them. Malcolm because they X. didn't pose a real enough threat to racism. Malcolm X fed more people than the U.S. government. Right. <laughs> I mean, probably. I don't, I'm, know, I don't know as much that's about it. I mean, Fred Hampton probably fed true. with his own hands more people than he was. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good country. I'm legitimately, uh, the other day I was like, man, I should just move to like Sweden or or um, Switzerland or one of the... I mean, they're better. But And then Ukraine happened. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to put a couple years on that. <laughs> Let me learn Maybe the language. Japan? No, ethno state, man. They're super racist. They are racist there. there. They're, I mean, but you'd be, you'd clean up as a white dude who speaks English, though. <laughs> to be fair, but you would, in the same way that an NBA player does well in current day America, <laughs> it's not without its definite racism. <laughs> probably better, probably way better. Honestly, it's like they get they they're already like Snapchatting pictures of you before they're out of your apartment. Like, look who I slept with, <laughs> a gaijin. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, is this what it's like to? Oh no, <laughs> I have I have low enough self respect that that would not be an issue for me. Well, then do it. Um, but you also have to bring a valuable skill over there. They make video content there. Uh, no, it's a and I way know- more educated. Dude, we're a third world country, by the way, because I was every uh, country in Europe has master's degrees. Fun fact. Uh, the master's degree yeah, is like the lowest level of education you yeah, can pretty much get over there. Yeah. Because you could just have it. Yes, but still. So we're dumb. <laughs> yes. We're on our national average for IQ is 98. The average is 100. We're two points yeah, below Yeah, IQ's it. dumb, though. But still, <laughs> until we... Uh, I mean, America is under How many smart people do you meet in America every day? I, none. <laughs> I'm the smartest. <laughs> a, a, a shocking... A, no, a I meet, I meet plenty. Too. I live in one of the three cities where you can meet lots of smart people <laughs> all the time, which means I live in one of the three cities where wealthy people are that have gone through the college education system. There's someone who could solve capitalism, and you know what he's doing right now? Dying of a fentanyl overdose. I'm dying of a fentanyl overdose. <laughs> no, there's someone who could solve all our problems. There's some diplomat who could probably like make a real difference in what's going on in Ukraine. He's dying Burn. of a fentanyl overdose, or you know, you know, joining a gang because no, dude, that is world. the that <laughs> is the government where he lives. You know, we're third world, fam. Yeah, no, it sucks. It shit. sucks. <laughs> Can we talk about how everyone's horny for the president of Ukraine now? Because he's Jewish? No, because he's cool. Oh, yeah, because he he's tried cool, to fight in the... But everyone gets horny about it. Yeah. There is a thing that liberals are doing where they have to get horny for, like... To likes to just be cool with somebody? Right. When they all liked Andrew Cuomo, which was stupid for its own reasons, but let's just say liked Andrew Cuomo and leave it at that. They all had to be like, I want to fuck Andrew and Chris, Chris Cuomo. <laughs> I want to do sex with them because I approve of their politics. And then they like, they do pictures of Biden where he's all muscly. Shouldn't that be good for you, though? Why would that be good for me? Because they want to fuck you because they like your politics? No, the people who do this don't like my politics. Oh. These are these are liberals. That's not good. Damn it. <laughs> you were so close to greatness, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I, I used to be I, I used to be a hella lib and I was like, I like Hillary. I'm with her. And I was like, she did what? <laughs> <laughs> it is it is astonishing the shit that it just completely gets emitted from we American talking history. about it. Like we didn't yeah, it didn't Oh we learned about my US history classes. Even uh, there was a class called Current Events that stopped right as Vietnam started. <laughs> That's when it stopped. Yeah. I took a class called Current Events that stopped at fucking Vietnam. <laughs> and I'm like, um, what? <laughs> Can we yeah. talk about... That is the... Huh? That's the that, <laughs> Vietnam is where the American people started to realize what America was. <laughs> Bad. And we have been... Goddamn bonkers! Ever since, <laughs> ever since we, ever since we all realized what was going on. Yeah. Also, if you were to pick up a newspaper, it's hard to catch up nowadays. <laughs> also, no, that that thing, like that thing I said that you like, which is that we have the the knowledge of a medieval king and the power of mm-hmm. a medieval peasant. That is where, like Vietnam, that was the era where we all got the knowledge <laughs> that a medieval king had, and we're all like, holy, oh fuck. my god. <laughs> Well, the guy, back when they had investigative journalism and a centralized new network that wasn't controlled by a guy. <laughs> yeah, there was media that wasn't... Jeff Bezos bought the Washington Post. Do you 
on and then you can you can like fucking insane that is and then it's very easy to see the slant in the Washington do you see how crazy that is there is so much insidious under the skin stuff of like it's not so good it's it's not no it's not it's not even (laughs) like it's not even one guy saying it there is insidious stuff all over capitalism of just without even realizing it everyone's like we're in this for profit so everything gets subtly turned toward profit that mm. takes a you got to be educated to understand that not necessarily you, for, through a university and even if you are it's easy to miss no but you, you have to really so think about that it, yeah. and you have to be really know what's going on in this country we just have that guy owns that paper and they're saying nice things about him but that's because they're a good paper <laughs> and we're like yeah oh, that's and then they're like democracy dies in darkness <laughs> because the president was rude <laughs> We. That's why. That, that, that's you know. That's what. That's the thing that I'm the most mad about. Honestly, is that liberals were mad at Trump because he was rude, <laughs> and then they got to say, "No, I'm mad at him because he's a war criminal." But they're not mad at any of the other war criminals. So, Bush, Obama, Bush. Obama, Clinton was a gigantic piece of shit, and not just because oh, of I all the rage. Clinton. I don't know about Clinton's war crimes. He didn't do as much war crimes, but he did, like basically. He did the. He was the president during the time where, like the the liberal elites in the country, like the Democratic Party, turned away from the working class and stopped doing working class politics. And Which went great toward decision, by the way. It actually socially, worked out super. Yeah, well. they're doing great. No, I it, mean, give it up one more time for the ruling class because they did it. They <laughs> they really they rule. They do, they do be ruling. No, like he, he signed the crime bill <laughs> where we were basically going to be like, we're going to fuck poor people, but then some rich people should be diverse and we're going to call that justice. Like so, someone said that like, look, I swear to God, sometime in the 90s, someone is like, you know what? Like black people and gay people and women should have some power in this country. And what liberals heard you was not, <laughs> no, liberals didn't hear. We, the people that have no power, we should give them power. They heard the people who have power should be more diverse. <laughs> but they should be the same number of them. They should just be more different. There should still be six of them, but one of them should be black. It should still be absolutely horrific to be a black person most of the time. But, but then one of them, or like six of them, or whatever. Went to you know, Laverne Cox. Well, is back on when TV, they instituted so. those rules, it was probably closer to six of them. But now... We're down to three. <laughs> Jeff, Elon, I, you, I mean, I could just say Jeff, and everybody knows who no, I'm talking which one about. It is. Yeah, I do it, know how I'll die. By the way, if it's not liver cancer, is storming Jeff Capital's estate? No, Jeff it's Capital's gonna be, estate. No, I. What's gonna? As I'm gonna be, I'm gonna like tweet. Elon Musk is is a is a dork ass who should eat poop, and then people will be like, "How fucking dare you call an African immigrant a dork?" Oh ass? my god! And then one of those Boston and then Dynamics your head dogs will explode. <laughs> no, one of those Boston Dynamics dogs will run up on me and just like punch me to death with its stupid paws. <laughs> Damn, he is technically an African immigrant, so therefore you're immigrant. a racist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm uh, honestly happy to be a racist. That's, yeah, no, that that's. See, that's what that's what happens when you you just PC for no reason with no consideration of how power works. But liberals don't want to talk about how power works because the whole thing with liberals is that they trust the working, the ruling class, and the bourgeoisie. Yeah, Liberalism is a, is, is a bourgeoisie moral system. They would never ever accept any moral system that said being bourgeoisie was the problem. I think it'd be really funny if Putin was black just so we could see what that oh, would God, look like. Great. <laughs> I don't know. I want to see the tweet from the, some like absolute dipshit hog from Arkansas being like, suddenly liberals hate this black guy. <laughs> I wanted to see more of the liberal side. Is well. I'd just be like, but, huh. <laughs> Uh, hmm, huh. No, well, you'd probably see a lot of racism. <laughs> so no, a lot of people the liberal that, side from the liberals. Saying. Yes, you'd see a lot of liberals being suddenly racist because it turns out that their anti-racism was entirely superficial. This is fun. we had so many conversations about race this weekend in Michigan because we were... well, speaking of. Oh yeah, why does yeah. your face look like that? I got I got a little bit of melanin in my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> what I meant. Uh, no, I He's got a got... black guy. Um, no. Black eye. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's where we draw the line in this podcast. Uh, 
No, I got. I got a black guy. I got jumped by three white dudes because they thought I was committing a hate crime. Which good, honestly, good, good. In no, it's Michigan, okay to jump I'm people happy. who are committing hate crimes. I would like to say I was not. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was I was blackout drunk, and I was blackout drunk with a, uh, with my friend at a bar. Um, I he's which is to already cultural shit. appropriation. Uh, he's trying to start shit at the bar, so I drag him out of the bar before shit can get started. I get him about. A block or so away, I'm still pushing him, uh, pushing him away from the bar, and he's still trying to like <laughs> get over me to go right back to this bar. He's cool. zeroed back in to try and fucking kill somebody. Cool. This bar. He was also correct. No <laughs> one's wrong here. Yeah, no, this is this is this is all fine. Um, but he's a black guy, and I'm a white dude, uh, and I was essentially carrying him against his will down a street. So three white dudes come up to me, and they're like, "What the fuck?" And I thought that they were the guys from the bar who had, like, circled around the back to catch up with us. And I was like, oh, well, this is happening then. So I abandoned trying to prevent the fight. And I'm like, all right, we're going to fight now. Which, if you think a guy's committing a hate crime and that guy turns around and goes, let's go, you <laughs> think that's him doubling down on the yeah, hate crime. you do. You do. It was it completely understand their side of the story. <laughs> um Johnny doesn't see this. He just sees that he was let go from being held back from the bar, and he was so zeroed under the bar, he dips, <laughs> gone, straight back to the bar to try and fight somebody. Which to Not three, realizing there's a fight going on next to him. <laughs> which to those three white knights also, is like, oh, he got away. <laughs> we saved him. So we start, I, I, I remember grabbing his shirt, throwing a punch, and then I got knocked the fuck out um, very quickly because it was three on one and all of them were taller than me. So I think it was like a total of like five punches thrown. I might have gotten one or two in. Uh, and then I vaguely remember after waking up because it was I did one of those like quick blackouts, you know, when you get punched in the face. Right, yeah. But I hit my ass on the ground and then woke up from the shock of hitting my ass on the ground. <laughs> so it was just like a two second delay. Um, and one of the white dudes is like, "Yeah, quit hassling that black guy." <laughs> and I was like, "Whoa, he's with me." Hang on a second. <laughs> it was the funniest. I was literally like, "Uh." Hang on. <laughs> Before we go back to this fist fight, uh, that's my friend. <laughs> and they're like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's my friend. He was trying to start a fight at the bar. So I pulled him out of the bar. And they're like, oh, shit. We thought you were <laughs> committing <laughs> a hate weather. crime. And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, my God, we're so sorry. And then they ended up driving me home. And they were very nice about it. <laughs> this is like that time that Jim Jeffries almost got raped in a stall. Uh, and then he bought him a drink. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it was really... I'm not going to explain that story. So you can fucking Google it, sorry. It was really shocking how quickly it turned around. And in my blackout, I vaguely remember we were out in front of a statue. <laughs> I don't know what statue, but for the purpose of this story, it's a Martin Luther King statue. <laughs> I think it'd be funny if it was a Robert E. Lee statue. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's taking him by the Robert E. Lee statue, man. <laughs> Get him! How fucked up is that? Yeah, it was a hilarious, I mean, really funny to look back on, and my face... I have not, I don't know what was going on in the bar. So far, I have not found a bad guy in this story. Mm -mm. I know one guy who's drunk and really no, wants to Johnny fight. No, Johnny was trying to start shit with, for no reason in the bar. I guarantee it. Not even a bad guy. I'll call him morally gray. No, yeah. No, I get it. You want to get into a bar? You're drunk you and you want to start shit. That's fine. Yeah. You're dragging your friend away from starting shit because he's too drunk. That's fine. You think you see a hate crime and you're going to beat up the racist. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you find out he's not a racist, you stop. Good. Right. <laughs> it all worked out. Because, I mean, they caught their licks, too, so everybody right. got hurt. <laughs> Except for the fact you know how the Stephen Fry knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. I think I like it better this way. It's been crooked. It's been crooked the other way my whole life. Well, <laughs> so now it's fun to switch directions. I, I didn't want to bring it up, but it was crooked toward the gay side. <laughs> oh, now sweet. It's, now it's crooked toward the really gay side. <laughs> oh, no. They're all gay sides. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Straight refers to the... I don't know if a lot of people know this. Straight refers to how straight your nose is mm. because so many gay... I'm not. I'm serious. <laughs> gay guys would get punched so much that their nose would be crooked. So if you were straight, it meant that you had a straight nose because you didn't get beat up because of that. And that's racism canon now. Right. How... I mean, if I were slightly more sober, you would have believed that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be better. Be better. Got to be sober. -er. Yeah. So for the rest of the trip, all we did was talk about fucking that? race. <laughs> Were you explaining to Johnny your his privilege? 
<laughs> Look, you can wail no. on a guy in a major city, and they're like, I, he probably said the N word. <laughs> no, Johnny was uh, just apologizing before, and I was like, dude, no, this shit has happened absolutely well, a thousand times before. <laughs> have, you, have you heard that Tom Segura joke? It's like, if he walks up on three black dudes punching a white guy, he's not jumping in. No, absolutely not. <laughs> if you walk, if a black guy walks up to three white guys punching a black guy. He's going to jump in and help that guy <laughs> because there's a reasonable assumption that the, if a uh, black guy's beating, beaten up by white guys, uh, they, he probably didn't do anything wrong. And there's a not unreasonable su- assumption that if a white guy's getting beat up by black guys, it's more likely than otherwise. He did. That he, did right. like he fucked up. Luckily, this crime was white on white. <laughs> uh, Which so, is why no one called the cops. Yeah. And then afterwards, Johnny lost a shoe and his wallet and he had it. When he had left that area. I don't know what happened. And he had my phone, but he ha- managed to hold on to my phone. It was a weird fucking it's night, an interesting man. interesting night. We were drinking Red Bull Vodka, so that's why. That'll happen. It's a blackout. A lot of, a lot of shit happened last time you drank Red Bull Vodka, too. Which time was that? You gotta be more specific. I had to spend the duration of a ski lift convincing you that you were unable to snowboard. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> Yeah, it turned out fine. I did. Did you notice me explaining to the other four what was happening at that point? Long story short, Connor and I were on a ski trip. He thought he could ski, and when he stood up to try and ski, he fell backwards in his chair. Uh, this did not deter him. Uh, <laughs> Why would it? So Connor was like, I'm going to go snowboard. And then I was like, okay. And then you were walking away, and I was explaining to the four other people there, he's not actually going to go through the terrain park, but he's going up that lift. So the only thing we can do now is I go up on the lift with him and convince him not to do the terrain park at the top of the hill. <laughs> and I didn't. And then, no, that's fine. No, I thought he, I, I just did the glance jumps. That's what I was doing anyways. The whole yeah, I didn't agree with that either. Oh, come on. That's not where I injured myself. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, you never injured yourself. Yeah. See? <laughs> you were injured by three good Samaritans. Mm-hmm. Uh, they drove me home. They were very nice about it. I bled all over their pickup truck. <laughs> well, I mean, if you if you get the blood out of someone and then get it on your truck, I mean, yeah, it's uh, fair. You know how it goes. If you if you dug the pit and their ox fell in it, you got to give them an ox. You can <laughs> keep the dead ox though. Yeah, <laughs> that's the scripture, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Bible because it's and that's what we follow to war all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I don't think we've done that since like. Since they were still writing it, probably. Or no, I mean Middle Ages. Crusades. Which turned out awesome. For everybody involved. I think actually for no one. <laughs> no, it, it turned out awesome for me because after the Crusades, they made a movie called Kingdom of Heaven, and then someone after that made a music video set to a, a Sabaton song that has scenes from that movie of war. So that was cool? good for me. Is it cool? Oh, it's dope. I'll show it to you after this. Thanks. Nice. Everybody look I up. I think it's right, super right wing, but look up Sabaton. Well, uh, just, look, just look up Sabaton music videos, and when you find the one that's like a crusade battle, that's the one I'm talking about. Simple enough. So now I got to go to an improv uh, meet, or whatever, improv show with this busted face and see what happens. <laughs> Too. Yes, and I have been an absolute fucking wild card at this improv place too. Is it the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, yeah. I've, All right. Uh, I was. <laughs> do you want to bet ten dollars that one of them makes a face sitting joke, and that's how it happened? <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> I bet one of them does. <laughs> no, and no, I no, have no. one of them in mind who will. This this isn't this super overly sexual place. This is this a, is the one in Aurora, right? No, no, no. This is oh. the one. I have one of them in my... <laughs> no, 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 no. This is here. The guy that did the cat noises? <laughs> He's funny, I swear. <laughs> yes, and if you did it right, it would be funny to say that happened from sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this place is in Chicago. These are really good improvisers. But I have, like, I missed class because I crashed my car. I've shown up hung over there like 40 times. <laughs> like, a bunch of shit has I feel happened. it is worth mentioning, by the way... He didn't crash his car when he was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was soberly crashing my car. Which that is that wasn't a, even your fault. No. That was, uh, I forget, a, a white... When someone's something. driving erratically, you don't be in the lane next to them. I don't know how many times it... <laughs> Common sense. It was lower whacker. You didn't really have a choice. <laughs> is this going to be coherent at all? What? I'm flowing real... Yeah, no, we're cool. Real hard. Dude, I'm... I'm real fucking hard. 
if the episode <laughs> if the episode where I have a broken nose and you're drunk is our strangest episode, That's oh no, <laughs> oh the, no. The indicting thing is that it's not gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the real problem. <laughs> so this is gonna be a fairly normal episode. Very Do you ever true. have one of those days where you're off work and you're just like, well, I'm gonna be drunk all day. <laughs> Let's start drinking. No, I can't drink all day. I get too drunk too quick. Yeah, right. No, I see. It's yeah. It's the a, truest thing you ever said was he's good at what he does. That time that I chugged a beer right after I dumped a tray full of vodka into a glass and then shot it because I had dropped the glass on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he's good at what he does. <laughs> and it's alcohol. No, I'm, I'm not a long distance drinker. I'm a sprinter. I do better. Oh, we drove your natural sprinters. Mm-hmm. I've been talking to a girl who likes Lord of the Rings. Mm. I can't wait to come too fast and then drop that line. <laughs> <laughs> Three dwarves are natural sprinters. How are things going on the Hinge, Bumble, Farmers Only, well, whatever the thing is? What time are we at? Do we have time to do Farmers she Only? She hasn't texted me. Do we have time to do Farmers Only? I had a great conversation last night and she's not texting me because she was lying. It was just probably one of my friends trying to make me feel good. That'd be hilarious. That's every but... time someone's nice to me. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. But no, she probably just has a job. It's Tuesday. Freaks. <laughs> All right. No, we get, we're 40 minutes in. We can definitely sign up for Farmers Only right okay. now. Okay. As soon as I read this email from my boss. Don't do that. You don't have to be lonely if you want to fuck white people. <laughs> I find white people are the hardest to fuck. Uh, false. I mean, actually, my track record would say otherwise. But... Uh, yeah, I've been off Bumble and Hinge because my face is broken. I don't know what I'm going to... That's not... A... I, I know. Come on, how funny would it be to show up with your nose hey, opposite? I'm... <laughs> Is breathing different? Is it breathing? Not what not? breathing? <laughs> I literally went in. I went into the ENT. I went in the emergency room. I was like, hey, I have sleep apnea. I can't breathe out of my face. I'm going to die in my sleep. <laughs> and they're like, we can't do anything for you. And then I go to an, it, and then they send me to somebody. I go to the person they send me to because they're, this is the person that can help me. And I'm like, hey, I have sleep apnea. I wake up choking on blood. I'm going to die in my sleep. Can you do anything for me? And they're like, they did a CT scan, they checked my face, and they're like, well, we found out you're not going to die in your sleep. It's just going to suck for three months. <laughs> See you in three months. And I'm like, you're just gambling with my life right now? <laughs> no, they figured out you're not going to die. It's just going to suck. <laughs> that is a very easy assignment. That's fucking bull. Just don't die in your sleep. I literally, I have to sleep on the side of my face, and also both of my ears are busted up. <laughs> Get my shit rocked. Yeah, I mean, you've committed a hate crime. This is what happens to you when you do that. <laughs> that's, that's the part of the story I'm not telling. I was <laughs> screaming the end of it all the way down. The entire rest of the story is true. You were trying to get Johnny out of there for good reasons, but also... <laughs> screaming the N-word. Was I screaming like, the N-word again? I, that's the scene I'm imagining. He's, you, oh, he's like, well, no. we thought it was a hate crime because you were yelling a hard R's. Like, oh, was I yelling it. hard R's again? I see why you did that. It's, I'll buy you guys a drink. I'm, so, I'm I sorry. I was drinking Red Bull vodkas. I get you know, racist. <laughs> you know, Red Bull gives you... <laughs> I had license hard. to be racist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is fucked up actually. Red Bull gives you cigs and then you that'd smoke be, a cigarette. That'd be that'd nice. be nice. I smoked a single cigarette uh instead of committing suicide yesterday. Or no, Great not decision. yesterday, on Sunday. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Hopefully my dad doesn't listen to any of these anymore. Uh <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't. It was hyperbole. Uh no, but this is fucked up. Um you have to pick man or woman on farmersonly.com. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Stunning that it's you know, binary. Not into envies on Farmers Only. Well, as we discussed, I'm high enough to be non-binary, so. You gotta choose women. I'm gonna go ahead and choose man, because it's closer. Oh, they do let you be gay, though. Oh. They don't let you be bi, though. <laughs> oh, what you are? Okay. You have to pick. No, I, yeah, you have to pick whether you're a man Okay, or okay. <laughs> which is frustrating to me. <laughs> Shocking that FarmersOnly.com is yeah, not down happens with, to be. They are down with Turn, the gays, though. See if there's anybody who's atheist on there. That's the real question. There probably is. Racists aren't atheists anymore. Or whatever. whatever whichever version Racists of that makes Christian sense, anymore. go ahead and take that. Yeah. yeah. Enter your age. I mean, I guess. You don't have to be. They're not going to let me do an Oak Park postcode on FarmersOnly.com. If you want to do meth, see if they do. Pick your phone. Fo- Look at the... <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at the, <laughs> the for the pick your photo, the, the default photo is a man in a cowboy hat. Just leave it. You'll get more. <laughs> Should I do me doing stand up? I'll do me in a flannel holding a shot glass. That'll work. Oh, that's perfect. The only picture that was taken of me on the ski trip I said you was were. in the... No, you didn't. What? Oh, I said you were. I don't agree. <laughs> okay, I'll send you it. I don't know if it's great, but I did take one. I just need stuff on Instagram because women keep being like, why don't you have anything on Instagram? So I post... And I'm like, I'm, I, the only website I go on is howtoeatpussy.com. <laughs> that implies that you don't know, though. No, they have... I'm not doing the novice programs. I'm doing the expert programs. I'm doing like, you, now that you found it, what do you do with it? I'm an administrator on the site. Wow, there is a there is an amazing mixture of like hot country girls and then like... Just dog shit. Then like, you, like you know they have a gun and they yell at black people all the time. Oh my God. Good. That's a good combo. You don't have Actually, you know what? It's, made, it's sort of weighted in one direction. <laughs> you don't have to be one, one of them just had short hair instead you could kill yourself <laughs> uh wow well, you know what instead of doing this i'm just gonna watch letter kenny <laughs> is it the same thing let me see also there's no one within a hundred miles of here really it's farmers only how many matches do you think you're gonna get in chicago how does this site even work oh my god what it looks a lot like craigslist fuck? frankly it really is there's no app? Here at you Farmers just... Only, at Farmers Only, we started in a very organic way. And what happened was we were saying we wanted to meet for casual disturbance. lady. We wanted to meet for casual disturbing sex on the side of the interstate. But when we looked at Craigslist, there were too oh many queers. Lord. And we ran the risk of having casual disturbing sex on the side of the interstate Ooh, hey, with the homosexual. <laughs> so we chose to create Farmers Only. So I knew that no matter how many hairs there were on their chin, the person I was having disturbing sex with on the side of, of I-34 would be technically female. What's up? This chick isn't a farmer right now. She's aspiring to be a farmer. And it, no, I've <laughs> read it. So, hang on, I'll read I, it. Out this loud. does not say this site is not for farmers and aspiring farmers. This is for farmers There's only. <laughs> hey y'all, I love gardening. Like 156 oh, tomato God, yeah, plants no, a few years like back, along with other produce and flowers, along with raising a flock, 27 of laying hens and selling the eggs locally. I have also helped out with bedding at my neighbor's cattle farm a few times I love the farm life and want to have a farm in the future hence why I'm here winky face is this actually for just farmers I thought that was just kind of like a name where it was like this is just actually for rural white people it is certainly for rural white people yeah this is a welder when am I'm, I gonna okay? Well, what are you gonna drive forty five minutes? I'm eighteen. I love to work. I'm a welder. I go to collage. She spelled college wrong. <laughs> for I mean, welding and fabrication. This is maybe the most yuppie thing we've ever done. We're really offending both working class people and women. Probably everyone. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Find someone who has the N word in their profile. I want to match. With Give that. it a second. <laughs> I will, I, you know what? I'm going to keep hitting no until I find a person of color and then I'll be and mad at myself. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> then I'll feel bad. How, and, and in there, white, how many, how many tens of white, profiles are just going to be like, holy well, shit. Well, father castrated the hog. So now I got to be on here. If I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> nope. Well. Well, Daddy and Cousin Cletus are both dead, so I guess I got to go to the internet to get my squishy place touched. I'll again, let you know. Again. I'm st I'm hitting no super fast, man. <laughs> this is not... The lady who I thought was Spanish, by the way, was a bot. <laughs> oh. Anybody that speaks Spanish on this website, I guarantee is Argentinian and has a German last name. <laughs> no, you might... There might be... This lady's holding a goat. No, no. The, there are not like actual farm nope. workers on this website. There are not actual. That's a prostitute. There are not actual. Uh, they're they're overrunning the dating apps. They just need. This is why I want prostitution to be legal, so there can be a specific dating app oh, for prostitution. Oh, it's a bot. Dang, we almost had one. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is hilarious. All of oh everyone God. on Farmers Only is white except the bots. 
Yeah. F- Which is just further convincing rural white people that minorities aren't real and they're cyborgs. Farm Which Girl 08854194 is the name of this There's person. that many of them? Blot. Uh, damn it. Black girl, but she's a bot. <laughs> Blot girl? Blot girl. Nope. This is hilarious. I'll let you know. I'm still looking. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find a person of color so I can feel bad. See, I think farmers only would be fun because it's just it's fun to date people who are so different than you that all of your conversations are just like, what the fuck is up with you? What do you believe? Oh, there's another black lady. She is a bot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this lady's it's... from Bloomingdale. This is from Chicago. What's going on? What is she doing? There's no farmland here. There, you, there was for a second, and then they bulldozed it for something stupid. White girl hugging a horse. What are you? Hang on a second. Might actually be a person of color. See, now, we, see, this is how, this is the thin line between anti-racism and racism, because now you're staring intently at someone and trying to figure out if their skull is the right shape for us to approve I think of she's just tan. I think she's just tan. Probably just tan. I mean, what's her skull she's shape like? She's a farmer. Does she have the crime pit in her skull? Stop it. <laughs> because if she does, it means she's white, to be clear. <laughs> That's fair. It's just not a crime if you make the laws. No, traditionally, white people do horrific things legally. Yeah, and it's not a crime <laughs> if you make the laws. Just because and it, if, but no, it's not a God, crime. No, it's not a crime if your skull is shaped a certain way. Dude, I might have to give up. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna find a person of color that's not a bot on here. Okay, so do we do we then just leave a review for the website that's like white <laughs> only? I I was looking for some dark chocolate with grass shavings on it, and I couldn't find it. Fuck this website. An Asian lady who is a bot. Unless the, the name only Asian- Cow Girl eight nine eight three nine zero zero five seven is that a phone number? Oh, wait, are they all phone numbers? No. It's are they not doing enough. that Craigslist thing where they do the phone number surreptitiously? It's not enough digits. It's one digit short. Well, you gotta guess. You gotta get the last, you get the last digit if she likes it. <laughs> oh, you can't do last oh, digit, because then I'll just text oh my nine God, different numbers. we did it. <laughs> you found one? It only took, yeah, uh, she is Mexican. Bam. I'm not going to have a reaction actual, An actual. Oh, she looks normal. She, well, she's on Uh, Farmers Only, so she's not. (laughs) Dang. Oh, her name is also Cowgirl6969694204269. What's what's the... She's also in Calumet City, which is basically Indiana. Yeah, yeah. What is the... What is... Why? 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 Why do this? (laughs) This is... Problematic. Oh, I'm liking her. Wow, the she first. has fetal alcohol syndrome. For sure. <laughs> Let me see. No, I already, I already got her off of my screen. <laughs> you monster! <laughs> oh my god, have you watched any of the Righteous Gemstones? Yeah, I think just a tad though. Have you seen like the red-haired hill lady that Walton Goggins is impregnating? It's been a long time. Okay, well I can't remember her name, but the the one that Baby Billy gets pregnant in Righteous Gemstones, folks. They all look like that, <laughs> except they're not actresses. Oh, whoa! She's what? gotta be. A, nah, she's a bot. She's a bot. Let me see. <laughs> she's too hot. Yeah. That's a, that's no a profile, bot. no information, one picture. That is a robot. Robot. This is a, just a wild. Oh, app. she's real. That's the denizens of this website. <laughs> there you go, folks. We objectified women, but uh, it's okay because they're it, racist. It's okay <laughs> because they're less educated than us. <laughs> Oh my god I'm starting to come down from the alcohol There's weed behind you In front of you and more alcohol I'm not alcohol smoking weed on this podcast Do you want me to talk side. about being non-binary again? <laughs> Why do I care? You don't, the audience does What audience? <laughs> oh, right We haven't posted in a minute <laughs> You don't have to be wise <laughs> On FarmersOnly.com. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm actually going to join. J-Date probably lets Genteels on, right? Oh, yeah, totally. But you got to... Their know. mothers don't approve of it. But. Yeah. Their mothers run the app, too. So what are you going to do? I got to get on J-Date. Why aren't you on J-Date? Set I don't up know. a J-Date account. This I should set up a J-Date account. Where else am I going to find someone that reminds me of Sarah Silverman to be mean to me? Probably J-Date is my guess. 
Do you have to be Jewish to get on J-Day? We're going to find out. Yeah. There I are so Catholics many weird... And, I find Catholics and Jews get along. Huh? I mean, we didn't used to, for sure. But mm. <laughs> we did torture a lot of them. For which... I'm sorry! <laughs> Is that how you open up every interaction? Do you, no, but, do you, know, what, do you know what I opened with? With... <laughs> I didn't. I was drunk, and I there was no way this was gonna work. Yeah. Her picture just spoke to me. The main picture. It looked for all the world like a Catholic family reunion, but her profile said Jewish, and I was like, okay, I've had six beers. So I said, hey, I know your profile says Jewish, but this gives me your picture gives me serious Catholic vibes. Like this feels like a Catholic family reunion. Yeah. And I was like, well, she's not gonna respond because that was a that was a a, a non sane thing to say to any human being let alone one that's worried you might be a predator. And then she was like, oh my God, you get points for that. I'm half Jewish. This is my Italian side of my family. And I was like, I fucking called it. I know the look of a man who's just eaten two helpings of Mastacholi. <laughs> and that man is me. <laughs> it is. No, I can spot Catholics from a mile away. Mostly by just seeing who's Italian. But No, I don't want the apple paste. I don't want any of the pastes that you eat for food. Lunchable? Is it a real lunchable or a fake lunchable? I want a real lunchable. I don't want to have that. I want a real one. I did. I was going to have to eat. <laughs> I was going to have to eat ramen this week because I spent a bunch of money on a ski hill for some reason. Because we're white. Yeah. Uh, white, and, but then I remember. White people don't have culture. <laughs> well, I'm going to prove to you I'm not white right, right here because I don't have to eat ramen because my aunt gave me a Trader Joe's gift card for Christmas. Ah, <laughs> so now is, I get to eat frozen pizzas, but they're gluten free. As white as it gets is a Trader Joe's gift card. <laughs> when I was high last night, I ate two lava cakes mm. in a row. The first one wasn't good. I still ate the second one because I was that type of high where I sure do need to be eating something constantly. <laughs> that is dangerous because you do get vomity after a little while. I mean, I don't. I'm good at what I do. But. <laughs> what you do is get high and eat. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'm when I don't want to be hung over. I'm a complex man. <laughs> <laughs> when I got to be awake at a certain time, yeah, I, I smoke instead of drink. Fair. Oh. Uh, Oh, the heartburn's back. You don't have to be black at farmersonly.com. You don't have to have feet. <laughs> I was going to say teeth, but at the end I thought feet would be funnier. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> you don't have to have feet at diabetics meat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, which reminds me of the bit that I, I was going to... Oh, song. the cat one? Yeah. It's the it's the, it's the the big Toofus Kitty song. Is Toofus a word that I made up, mm -hmm. possibly? No, it's, or it's not. Is it a word that other people know? Apparently not. It was. I think it's a word my dad made up because he would be like, "You better brush them toothfaces, or I'll suffocate yeah. your rabbit again, or whatever." Mm -hmm. So to, a toothfish is a tooth. Mm -hmm. So and then my cat bit me, and I was like, "Oh, you're a big toothfish kitty," <laughs> and then like in a belittling way, like because it didn't hurt that bad. Like mm -hmm. it hurt a little bit. Like I had to have my mom kiss it, but like it wasn't uh -huh. that bad. I've gone on a tangent. No, <laughs> so it basically it's big. Every verse is like. Big two fist kitty, na 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 na. Mm. Uh, but the na 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 is always her committing some other horrific crime. <laughs> Big two fist kitty, double ray palm aside. <laughs> sure, yeah, or, you know you could do couplets with it, or it's like Big two fist kitty, she's coming to your town. Big two fist kitty, she's burning your house down. Nice. <laughs> Big two fist kitty cares not for the laws of man. Mm -hmm. Big two fist kitty, put your balls in a tin can. <laughs> So basically, it's about what if my cat was a sociopathic serial killer. Which it is. I mean, it just doesn't have successful. The, it doesn't have thumbs or the ability to leave the house. It looks like she has thumbs because her thumb bones keep breaking to the side because she gets her thumb claws stuck in things. Because <laughs> she's like, for a cat, stupid. <laughs> uh, the other day I got... This kitty. I looked at her and I was like, I got to get you to a vet. And so I scheduled it with the vet and put the symptoms out and then the vet was like by the way one of those symptoms may be an emergency so call us about that but it was 12 30 a.m mm -hmm. so i called and i was like my cat's breathing very fast i let me know if that's a problem in the morning mm -hmm. and then i was like don't smoke weed because if you smoke weed yeah what that will turn into is she's dead yes <laughs> absolutely and then you smoke weed exactly as i had predicted <laughs> and then and then i had to just watch the cat <laughs> <laughs> um did you end up taking it to the vet do you know, it's so fucking hard to schedule a vet appointment. I, I couldn't get one, one until scheduled. the 18th. I thought you already had one scheduled. No, I had 
plans to go. Oh my, that's not how it works, you I thought, fucking idiot. I have not had a pet since I was like a coherent adult. Um, so... I've got a schedule now. So, and you called him and it's not an emergency? That I called him in the morning I was like, remember that like panicked semi-stone phone call about my cat breathing fast? They were like, yeah, is that it? Is she like, does she seem okay? <laughs> I was like, yeah, she doesn't seem unhappy. And they were like, all right, well, if she stops seeming not unhappy... <laughs> Bring her in. Yeah, Otherwise, I so. 18th. <laughs> I think the cat's okay. Might be in pain, but it's probably, I mean, it was That's outside. not going to go away when I bring her to the vet. I, She's, her body is full of sin. It's <laughs> Big tube is kitty. Her body is full, full of, of sin. sin. <laughs> Big tube is kitty. It's a coffin. Get on in. <laughs> War crime cat. <laughs> Big tube is kitty. Mm. Does not care about your age. Big, <laughs> Big Toofus kitty. kitty. Children are targets of rage. <laughs> Big Toofus Kitty. Gets drunk and burns houses down. <laughs> Big Toofus kitty. kitty. She would do it sober too. <laughs> <laughs> Big Toofus Kitty doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> she does this fun thing Knife dwarf. where... She, that's exactly why I had to do it on the podcast, because yeah. it's basically Knife Dwarf. Knife Dwarf. Knife Dwarf teamed up with Toofus Kitty. <laughs> this right. team... Ravaged a small town, <laughs> a small city, dude. Uh, big doofus kitty, big doofus city. Doof is kitty. City. Knife dwarf and doofus kitty. <laughs> Knife dwarf and big doofus kitty take on Manhattan. <laughs> it's a drag show. Yeah, I thought it was Debbie Does Dallas style. And I was like, I don't know. The knife dwarf isn't gonna fuck my cat. <laughs> no. They... Oh, they're gonna fuck Manhattan together. Yeah. Independ- each of them gets half of Manhattan. Right. Which, Jesus Christ. Knife Dwarf has to take Uptown. I'm not... <laughs> but Uptown has its hustlers. <laughs> but the downtown's got its bumps. <laughs> what about 47th Street? 47th Street. 47th Street's Street got Big Toofus Kitty. She's a real mean <laughs> son, son of a gun. <laughs> Big Toofus <is> Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> She's small and soft as a cat can Kitty. come. <laughs> Weaker than a country <laughs> moth. <laughs> she really is... The wind would weaker than weaker than fetal alcohol syndrome lady on. <laughs> on, on I mean, farmers. I think own. they all. You get a certain number of miles out of a major city, and they all have fetal alcohol syndrome. Well, yeah, because all there is to do is to drink around there, and, and when fuck. you're pregnant, you're not missing out on that. Right. I mean, you stop drinking hard liquor. You think? Not a monster. You would think. <laughs> the uh, I've actually heard that if you only drink hard liquor, that's fine. Because <laughs> the reason the reason that that it's bad for babies is that your placenta can't tell the difference between beer and water, but it can tell the difference between beer and liquor. So if it's liquor, that won't get through. Obviously, and why, why do don't people lie more? <laughs> it's so e- they do. They're I just po- don't catch it. <laughs> they're politicians. <laughs> oh, hello, hey, hello, politicians. Big, 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 big. We don't like them on this podcast. Anyway, if you're a real American. Probably have fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> and believed that the Confederacy was good. Anyway, uh, you know, Ukraine? Stop that's it. rough, man. <laughs> Russia, knock it off. It's the official take of this podcast. <laughs> Russia, fucking stop, man. Stop it. Dude, quit Dude. it. Dude. You're not being cool at all right You're now. You're really harsh in the vibes of this party, man. <laughs> All right, all right. Next time the joint goes around, we're skipping Russia because he's being a dick. That'll teach him. That's yeah. called sanctions. That's essentially what we're doing. That's me teaching sanctions to stars. <laughs> that's called sanctions. <laughs> all right, everybody. That's called <laughs> it's cracking your knuckles. <laughs> I'm non-binary. <laughs> no, stop talking about that. <laughs> no, this will be a fun document later. Hmm. This will be a fun document when later. you type this the, out? No, the podcast when I keep yelling, I'm asexual when I'm high. <laughs> it's dangerous. It'll be great in court or whatever. Yeah. Did you see my tweet last see night when I was really in the grips else. of the weed? I don't know what. <laughs> I said, I just game planned what I could do if a giant spider came through the door right now. And I've decided I could get me and my cat out this third story window just fine. So I'm no longer scared of the spider. And if my boss is reading this, this proves nothing. And neither did that drug test. (laughs) Because in the midst of writing that tweet, 
First of all, I got scared of the spider again, but then I talked myself <laughs> down again, and then I remembered I have a job, and I was like, I'm not going to not do the tweet. <laughs> I can sacrifice my job for the tweet. That is something funny that our boss needs to realize. If you're going to underpay and overwork us, there are consequences that come with that, and it is me being hungover, high, or drunk any second time. Right, now, I'm going to be hungover when I'm working, and I'm going to be on some kind of substance, but I'm not. Yeah. It's it, uh, uh, very difficult to get a hold of when I'm not working. <laughs> and the day... That the shitty things of our company are my fault, you can talk to me. <laughs> yeah. I'll be easier to get a hold of then. You know what's going to be funny is you can go into work looking like that and no one will notice because they don't know what you look like. Yeah, no, nobody's going to know is that my nose got broken because they're like, well, I haven't seen you in fucking two years. You have to go in soon. You might have the black eye. What? You might have the black eye. I think I go in like the 16th. So. Okay. I had to go in with a scrape on my forehead because of the time that I fell onto a concrete wall. Mine's a cooler story. Mine's a longer one. <laughs> Following that homeless man around for hate crimes. That's not... <laughs> That's what happened. I didn't injure myself the time I hung out with the homeless guy. <laughs> was it hanging out or were you following him? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> At a certain point, he was protecting me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, no. Is it? <laughs> I think most... Most, like, streetwise guys, if they see a drunk white guy bouncing off the sides of buildings and walking into a dangerous area, they'll be like, okay, but we're not, you're going you're gonna to get killed. <laughs> Speaking of, by the way, I had a conversation on the Chicago subreddit about how the L's are becoming full of homeless people, which mm. they are. Uh, and I was like, I don't really think the solution to that is cops. Uh, I know that uh, I only have this opinion because I'm a young white guy and less risk of rape than some people, but I'd rather talk to a homeless guy than a cop. Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, you piece of shit, my pregnant boss got fingered on the L. <laughs> they actually said the pregnant boss got harassed. But they were all like, you piece of shit, you're just a white guy. That's why you don't like, you're like. you not afraid of homeless people. And then a woman was like, I've been sexually harassed on the L by the cops and the homeless people, so I have no opinion. <laughs> and I was like, there you go, folks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd rather talk to the homeless guys because they don't care what you're doing if you give them a dollar. The cops can get mad at you, and it, they are legally allowed to do that. Yeah, and mad means beat. <laughs> and uh, frankly, uh, when homeless people rape you, you can go to the cops about that. <laughs> the cops rape you. The homeless guy can't stop the cops, so it's not like you can just go to the other guy. Tough luck, buddy. I forgot where I was going with this. I think I was trying to make a point. No, I think you did make the point. Did I make the point? The point was rape more homeless people. <laughs> it's a very specific point, <laughs> but I'm glad you made it. <laughs> linkter.ee slash it's just bits <laughs> <laughs> to donate to our cause <laughs> <laughs> which I mean legal fun probably probably when this document gets released when somebody if you type this out in court there's no way this sounds good <laughs> <laughs> your honor <laughs> it was satire you say that every time we mention a quote you said I it's speak in usually satire, satire a lot yeah Nine times out of ten, I don't mean it. You're telling me that when you said you love racial slurs, that was satire? And when you said you hate the government, that was satire? <laughs> uh, no, I do hate the government, but I can't tell you that. It's, if, you have, if you have a clear moral compass, then it's very easy to understand what part we're joking at. Yes. Just have right. a clear moral compass and then be like, well, they're not assholes. And right, then like, this podcast becomes super easy to understand. Yeah, but the thing is, people who think that the solution to homelessness is to like hit them with sticks and make them go be miserable somewhere else, those people think they have a good moral pu- compass. So they might think I'm advocating homeless people rape. Right hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is problematic. Touche. Anyway. Uh, well, you're wrong if you think that. Anyway, so. carry a ratchet set with you to remove those little uh, arms that go in the middle of benches to stop homeless people from sleeping on them. Uh, if there's a sneaky guy on the train, uh, you should kill a rich guy about that. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. You could also give him a house if you have a spare. Or a dollar is also good. A dollar is also good. You wouldn't know fucking have to be on the L coming mm. here. A guy was like, I, all I heard was something, something dollar because my headphones were in. So I start to give him money and he goes, no, I said, I have a dollar. Do you have anything to eat? And I was like, what? no, I am not a food vendor. What the fuck? <laughs> and he was like, okay, well then if you were about to give me money, I'll still take that. What? And I was like, okay, here is the $3 I have on me. Why did just, <laughs> and you're an asshole to me. Hang on a second here. <laughs> I don't like any of these things. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to the red line.
Link to your daddy, forge license, just bits. Um, do drugs. Only the good ones. So all of them. Yep. Uh, and if you can get out of this country, let me know where you're going so I can apply for a visa as well. So, Ireland. With no. my luck, this will be the world war they decide to participate in. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Yeah,